Hey guys, how's it going? So, I finally got to see the new Godzilla King of the Monsters, and it was an amazing movie. So, I thought today I would show you guys how to draw a Godzilla-inspired surprise fold drawing. So, to begin, I'm going to take my piece of paper, and I'm going to fold this in half. So, I'm going to fold it in half like this. And then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to take this end and I'm going to fold it down to here. Just like that. So this way I'll keep my fold like this so I can open it up and turn it into something. So let's start with Godzilla. So what I want this to look like is I want to have a whole big picture of Godzilla and then I want to have all of the monsters and stuff inside of him. So to do this I'm going to first open it up and I'm just going to find my fold and I'm going to keep everything above that fold. So the first thing is I'm going to draw his mouth just so I can get an idea of how big I want it. So starting right here I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curls around and I'm going to run it right along the edge of my fold and then I'm just going to kind of curl it back up here. Then I want to draw his nose right here. So I'm going to draw a little curved line right here. <clears throat> And then I'm going to make another curved line over here. Then I'm going to draw a little bit larger curved line on top of here. And then another one right on top of here. Then I'm going to connect these with a small bump right here. Then Starting right here, I'm just going to connect these two lines right here for the inside part of the nose. Then I'm just going to curve this line around here, and then curve this line around here for part of the nose. Now, for the top of the nose, I'm going to just draw a little line that kind of goes up and then back down around here. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down and then curls up and then stops right about here. Then I'm going to start over here and I'm going to draw that exact same shape. So I'm just going to curl down, then go back up and stop right about there. Then, Inside here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes down and then curls back up like this. And then on this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Just go down and then curl up right about there. Then, starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of curls around here and that's just going to form the eyebrow shape. Just like that. Then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of runs right across here for the top of the head. Then to draw the side of the head, I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of comes down and it's just going to run right towards that mouth right there. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just go out a little bit and then come back in towards the mouth. Now, I want to add a few details around the eyes. So, I'm going to draw a line right here like this, and then another one right here. 
Then I'm going to start these lines right here, and I'm actually going to bring these all the way up towards the nose. Okay, so now that I have that done, I can add a few little details on here. So first, let's work on his eyes. So right in here, I'm going to draw a little curved line. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Then I'm just going to color in a little bit and just leave a little part of these eyes white for like a little bit of a reflection. Then I'm actually going to draw another small curved line in here that just kind of goes around the bottom of the eyes like that. Now, there's lots and lots of details on Godzilla. So I'm just going to draw a few different lines around the face here. Just to kind of show some different texture. Then I'm also going to put a few of these lines up here on his head. Just like this. Now, right between these eyes, I'm going to draw a little bump just to kind of connect these two eyebrows together. And then I'm going to add a few little lines onto here as well. Then over here by the nose, I'm going to add a few more little lines that kind of go across. I kind of try to make some of these little broken lines. And then I might add a few more around the eyes, and then a couple that are kind of coming out from his nose area, like that. Kind of give it a little bit of texture. Now, on his mouth, starting right here, I'm going to draw a little bit of a broken line that kind of comes across for kind of like a, where a little bit of like a lip would be. And then I'm going to curve in a few of these lines few these broken lines just kind of add some more detail on his mouth. Then I might add a few little lines onto the eyebrows. Put some on the top and the bottom. Make sure they don't look like eyelashes over here. Just like this. Now, after I have that, I'm going to close this up and I'm going to now draw the bottom of his mouth. So, to do that, starting right here underneath the fold, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves across. Leave a little bit of space in between there. Just like this, make sure it lines up all the way. Then I'm going to draw his chin. So, I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of curves down here and then curves back around up here. Then I can add some more of these little detailed lines. I'm going to make some of these lines kind of come up from the bottom here. Put some more broken lines in there. Now, I want to draw his neck. So, starting right here, I'm going to start up here on this part. I'm going to draw a little bit of a line that kind of comes down. And it's going to go all the way towards the bottom of my paper like this. Then I'm going to draw that same thing here, just a little bit in the corner, and then draw it down like that. Then I'm going to draw two lines that go down from his chin. And this is going to be like where his neck is. So I'm going to draw some kind of curved V U shapes in there. And then I'm just going to add a few kind of like scale patterns. I'm just making some of these different shaped kind of almost U circle shapes that are kind of half closed, half open. Just like this, kind of all the way around his body. 
This is just kind of give it like a scaly texture pattern. Just like that. I put one more up here. Kind of keep them different sizes. Now, I didn't leave much room at the top for his spikes or anything like that. So what I can do is on one of these sides, I'll do it over here, there's a little bit more room. I'm going to just add, actually, no, let's do this. I'll put it on this side. I'm going to add a few spikes kind of coming down the back of his neck, just like this. And then over here, what I'll do, just to add something else in there, is I will draw a long curved line that kind of comes down and around like this. And then I'll add a few spikes on here, and this can be his tail. And I always like to add a few lines on here. Then I'm just going to draw a little bit of a line down it. And then kind of put some lines going across for the bottom. And then I'll just put a few of these kind of circular shaped scales on here. So, we got the basic Godzilla down. Now, when I open this up, I have this nice big empty space to work with. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to add some teeth onto Godzilla. So, starting right here below the mouth, I'm going to draw some teeth. So, when I make these, I'm going to make them kind of like V shapes. And I'm going to make these different sizes all along here. Now, I need to do the same thing down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first take this line right here, and I'm going to draw it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, just so that way when I close this, I won't be running into anything else, or I won't have anything showing down here. Then I'm just going to draw a line that just comes across here. And let's close it, make sure we don't see that. And that works out perfect. So then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw some more of these curved teeth, different sizes, just like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to draw some of the different monsters kind of inside his mouth. Not so much like he's eating them, but just, you know, he is the king. Just something kind of, you know, fun to do. So... Let's start off with one of his good friends, and let's draw Mothra. Now, some of you guys have probably seen the Mothra video, so you guys can use that, too, as a reference. So, to draw Mothra, the first thing we want to do is we want to start off with her eyes. And I'm going to try to fill up a lot of this paper and this empty space in here. So, I'm going to draw an oval shape like this for one eye. And then I'm going to draw another oval shape like this for her other eye. Then, underneath here, I'm going to make another oval shape kind of like right around there like that. Almost looks like a little ghost face. Then, inside this, I'm going to make a couple little zigzag marks for her mouth. Then around these ovals, I want to make another oval. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it kind of zigzagged and furry looking because she has a lot of fur around those eyes. So I'm going to do that to both of these. Just add another oval around there. Then right next to her mouth, she has these two little feelers. So to do that, I'm just going to draw a line that kind of curves down and then curves back up like this. Then I'm going to draw another one that kind of curves down and then just back up. Then in between here, I'm just going to make another kind of furry looking line. And then starting over here, I'm just going to draw another kind of furry line that goes all the way down to her little feelers. Then on top of here, I need to add her antennas. Once again, her antennas are kind of furry, so I'm going to make a curved line that just has lots of zigzags and different shapes in it. 
just like this. Then I want to add an arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line right here that just kind of curves up and then down. And then I'm just going to go over and bring it back up like this. Then starting underneath the face, I'm going to curve it right, a line right to there. Then I'm going to draw another one over here. So I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves around like this. And then on the end of these, I want to add her claws. So I'm just going to put three little claws on the end of each of these. Now I'm going to draw this line of Godzilla up here a little bit higher and then do the same thing to this one. Then I'll add one of her wings. Now I need to be careful that when I draw her wing it doesn't come down into this area here. So what I'm going to do is to draw her wing I'm going to start up here by her eye and I'm just going to draw a line that goes to her antenna and then it's just going to go out and then come back down like this. Then I'm going to draw another part and I'm just going to draw this one and keep it real small and curve it right to there. Then for some details on her wing I'm going to draw a little line that kind of curves around here again. And then I'm just going to add a couple little lines coming down here for some of her stripe patterns. Then I'm going to draw another line around here. And then I'm going to put a little circular shape in here with a little small one in there too. Then down here I'm going to make a little bit of a U shape and then a smaller one right there for some of her patterns. So now let's draw another one of Godzilla's characters. So next, what I want to do is let's draw Anguirus. So Anguirus is one of Godzilla's main friends in there, and he's kind of like an armadillo type character. So to draw Anguirus, what I'm going to do is let's start with his eye. So first, I'm going to draw a small circle right here. And then what I'm going to do is starting right above that circle is I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves up and then down like this. Then I'm going to make that kind of same shape right on top of it for the eyebrow. And then I'm just going to kind of curve this line back here for part of the eye. Then, starting right here by the eye, I'm going to draw a little line. And then I'm going to draw a big curve right here for his nose. Then, for his mouth, I'm going to draw a line that just goes up and then down. And then it's going to kind of curve back up and down like this again. Then for the bottom of the mouth, I'm going to just kind of curve down and then around like this. Now I want to add some teeth in here before I finish this off. So I'm going to draw just some different shaped teeth in there. I'm going to give them two big fangs. Then I'm just going to draw some small V's in here. And then down here I'm going to make some small little triangles, put a couple big ones right around the front. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a really skinny line that kind of follows the shape of the mouth. And then I'm going to draw another one that just kind of curves here, goes right to the teeth. Now I want to draw the back of this mouth. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to draw a line that goes all the way to the front. And then a little line that goes up and then I can add a few more teeth on this side. 
then I can get really close in here and I can draw two little lines for like the tongue. Now, up here, I'm going to draw a line that curves right around the top of the mouth and goes all the way over here. Then I'm going to draw one curved line for a nostril and then another curved line for a nostril. Then on top of this nose, he has kind of like a rhinoceros horn. So I'm going to make a line that kind of curves around and then comes back like this. Now, up here by the eye, I'm going to draw a little line like this. And then I'm going to just kind of curve it back like this for his neck. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that curves down, goes to the teeth, and then comes right there just to kind of finish off where the jaw is. Now, Ingiris has a lot of spikes on his head. So to draw that, I'm going to start off by drawing a couple little curved lines for one spike. Then I'm going to make this next one a little bit taller. And then I'm going to make this next one pretty tall. And then these next couple, I'm going to make these a little bit smaller as they kind of go back down his head. Then starting here at the neck, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of comes down. And then I'm going to draw a few spikes on there too, because he's got like this big kind of armadillo shaped spike shell. Then here in the mouth, I'm going to draw a little line right there to connect it. And then I'm going to draw a line here by the mouth just to make it look a little bit more separated. And then last, I'm going to come in here and give him a little pupil and leave a little bit of space in the center of it. Then I'll add one more line here by the eye just to kind of break it up a little bit. So there we have Angiris. Next, we want to draw another one of Godzilla's main foes, and that is Rodan. So to draw Rodan, I'm going to put him up here. And what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to start off with a small eye, so just a little circle. Then I'm going to draw a little line above it. And then I'm going to start right here by the eye, and I'm going to curve this around and then go up here into the head. Now, starting here by the eye, I'm going to draw a line that goes up and then out for the top of his beak. Then I'm going to just kind of curve this back down to where I started. Then I'm going to draw this line right here and curve it out a little bit. Then starting up here, I'm going to draw a line that goes here. And then I'm going to draw this line up here and leave a little bit of space in between. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a long tongue. And then all the way around here, I'm going to put some little tiny teeth. Because he has little teeth in his mouth. Then I'm going to draw a line that starts up here and it's just going to curve around for the bottom of the beak. Now starting right here, I'm going to draw a few lines like this just for the bottom of his head. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes right down here into Angiris' horn for his neck. Then I'm going to draw a little line right across here. And then I'm just going to bring this down. And then I'm just going to draw his neck down to here. Now, 
Rodan has some different horns and stuff on him as well. So first I'm going to draw a little curved horn back here. Then I'm going to put another one up here. Then on the back of his neck I'm going to add a few more of these little spikes. Then I'm going to add a few lines right around here. Then down his neck he has kind of like a scaly pattern. And then I'm just going to draw a line in between it. Then on his beak we want to add a little dot for a nose. And then I'm just going to draw this extra little skinny line that just kind of shows where part of his beak is. Now coming back up here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down and then curves back up like this. And then I'm just going to draw a line that comes all the way over to his mouth right here, just to show where part of his wing would be. Next, let's draw another one of his characters that he's always fighting or teaming up with. And let's go with one that he fights. And let's draw the character Gigon. So to draw him, what we're going to do is we're going to start with his eye. So he has one, he's kind of like a cyclops. He has one big eye. So I'm going to start right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down and then up like this. Then I'm going to curve it around and come back up like here. Now underneath there, I'm going to draw a line that goes up and then curves down and then back. It's supposed to look like a beak. And then I'm just going to connect those. Then I'm going to draw a line here that goes down and then curves up. And then this part's going to curve down and come back up here to finish off that beak shape. Now, he has some little spikes on the side of his face. So starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just curves up and then comes back around, kind of like a teardrop. And then I'm going to draw one that kind of curves around here like this, almost kind of like little tusks. Now above this eye, I'm going to draw a little line for an eyebrow. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes up and kind of comes around here. And we'll go back here by Rodan. Then, starting right here underneath his beak, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of comes down like this. And then over here underneath his jaw, I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of comes down. Now inside here he has this really small scaly pattern. So I'm just going to draw some little U's in here just to show where that scaly pattern is on his belly. Just like that. Now on top of his head he has one big horn. So I'm going to draw a line that just goes up and then curves down. And then I'm going to curve this back around. And then I'm going to draw one more little curved line in here just to show a little bit of dimension. Then on the side here, I'm going to draw a few more little lines just to show some texture on his body. And then he is famous for his big claw hooks. So starting right here by the beak, I'm going to draw one big hook that kind of comes down like this. Then I want it to be real pointy on the end and kind of come back here. Then I'm going to draw a little line that kind of comes back here like this. Now let's go back to Mothra. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that just kind of comes right up to here. 
another line like this, and then we'll throw a few more line patterns in there. Then I'm just going to continue Gigon's hooks right there. So next, let's draw another one of his rivals. And let's draw the evil monster from the first movies, which were those Mutus. So to draw these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here, up by Gigon. And I'm going to draw a line that just kind of comes out and then down a little bit like this. Then I'm going to curve this line down, then curve it back up just a little bit. Then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes around like this. And then we're going to bring it down here to here. Then I'm going to draw another little hook. And then I'm going to curve it all the way back here. And then I'm just going to bring it up right there. Now these Mewtwo's, it's, there's not much space in between the top of their head and their eye. So starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that kind of can be kind of broken too, that goes all the way back to here. And then they have their eyes really close to the front of their face, and I'm just going to draw a line up here like this for their eye. Then I'm just going to draw a curved line in here for part of the mouth. Then I'll add a few little teeth on each side of the mouth, and then a few on the top. Then I'll come in here and add a few little extra lines around the face. And then I'll add a couple curved lines here to show where the neck is. And that's pretty much all there is to the Mewtwo. It's pretty easy. Now, another one of his main foes that we're going to draw is the famous one from the latest of the movies, the one that just came out, and that is King Ghidorah. So, to draw King Ghidorah, I'm going to put his heads up here, and what I want to do is I'm going to have him going at a couple different angles. So, the first one I'm going to draw right here. So, I'm actually going to start with his eyebrow. So, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes out, curves up, and then down like this. Then, I'm going to make a little curved line underneath here. Then I'm just going to draw a line that goes up, and then I'm going to make his nose right here. And then I'm going to draw a line that just kind of comes back here like this. And I'll draw this one down here. Now in here I'm going to draw a little curved line for the nose. And then I'm going to bring this eyebrow up a little bit. Then I'm going to draw a curved line up here that goes up and down for one horn. And then another one back here. And then I'll put one more right there. Now I'm going to add a few teeth in here. And then on top of his eye, I'm going to add a few spikes. And then I want to put another really big horn on top of here. Then I'll draw a long tongue. And then just a line that kind of comes down for the mouth. 
Now around the top of the mouth, I'm going to draw a little skinny line, kind of broken. And then a little line right here by his eye. Now, I don't want to draw all the heads because I've already drawn those in one of my other videos. And I want to put at least one more of Godzilla's monsters in here. So, the last one that we can put in here is going to be one of Godzilla's main foes. And that is going to be Mecha Godzilla. So, to draw Mecha Godzilla, I'm going to keep him up here. And I don't want to draw him really big. I'm just going to draw kind of like the top of him because I don't want him to come above this fold line right here. So, to do that, first thing is I'm going to draw his one eye. So, I'm going to draw an eye that right here that just kind of goes curves down and then curves back up. Then over here, I'm going to draw a little line that goes down, out, and then comes back up for his other eye. Now above this eye, his eyebrow is going to go up and then down like this. And then on this one, it's going to go down and then just kind of curve around like that. Now there's going to be a little line that goes down here and then another one that goes out and then down. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes straight across. And then I'm going to draw a line here that kind of curves back towards the eye. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes up and then over to the tooth. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes across and then down. Now over here, I'm going to draw a line that kind of goes down towards the nose. And then right here by the eye, I'm going to make a line that goes out and then comes back down. Then up here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up and then back towards the head. And then over here by this eye, I'm going to draw a line that just goes right underneath it. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes up towards the tooth. And then another one. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes out and then back up towards the tooth. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes back here. And then I'm going to throw a few teeth in here. Then I'm going to draw a line that comes down here for the bottom jaw. And throw a few more teeth in there. Now over here, I'm going to make a little circle. He's got lots of different gears and gadgets on him. Then I'm going to draw a little line curves around here. And then in here, I'm going to draw another line and put another line right there. Then on the back of him, I'm going to draw a curved line right here. And then I'm going to draw another line that goes right down here towards Ghidorah's horns. And then I'm going to draw a few real skinny lines just to show where there's lots of wires and different things. Then I'm going to draw another line right here above his eye. And then I'll put a couple big spikes back here just to show where some of his spikes will be. And there you go. There is your surprise fold drawing of Godzilla, King of the Monsters. So we threw some old monsters in there, some new ones, some that didn't make the movie, some that you know have been around for a long time. So when you close it, you have just an angry-looking Godzilla face. But then when you open it up, you see his mouth full of different monsters. Now, one more thing that I want to add to this is I want to kind of close up some of these lines. So starting right here by the tooth, I'm going to draw a line that goes down. 
and then another one that kind of goes down over here. Then over here by the neck, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes down like this, and then one over here that just kind of goes down. Now, one of the last things that I want to add in here is I'm just going to put a little bit of Godzilla's kind of, you know, fire that he can breathe. So I'm just going to draw some kind of crazy, kind of curvy lines that just go all the way around the edge of these monsters. Draw a little bit right here, make sure it stays under the fold. Just like that. So when you close it up, you have your Godzilla. And then when you open it, you have your fire breath. So I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.